from deep under the earth, spreading across the globe at the speed of thought, changing the world one brain at a time. This is the Final Order Report from Green Brain Comics. Hello and welcome, Brainiacs. I am Dan Merritt, the Chief Purchasing Officer at Green Brain Comics. Each week, we bring you the Final Order Report, a hand-picked selection of comics and graphic novels that are about to go to print. These titles will be hitting our shelves in as soon as four weeks. We're here to give you this inside scoop and one last opportunity to subscribe or special order before the final order cutoff this Monday, July 22nd at noon. That's 12 p.m. this Monday, July 22nd. Our theme music today is courtesy of Burnt Rubber Omelette and their upcoming single, Web of Despair, coming soon from their full release coming out later this year. That is Burnt Rubber Omelette Cargo Shorts of Doom. It's brutal. Frontman Max Grinder Thompson posted about the new track and uh, how they're having a hard time with the naming. They're not sure whether to name it, let me get back to that, whether to name it Spiga or Kumanga. I'll give you a sneak peek of uh, that track later this episode. Huh. It'll be fun. You'll see. All right. First thing we want to show you today. Let's see. Green Brain Comics and the Final Order Report are proudly powered by Comic Hub. Check out Comic Hub online at comichub.com or download the mobile app for Android and iPhone. Create an account or secure sync your existing one to order and pay securely online ensuring you never miss an issue today i will be using comic hub to showcase items from this week's last call for confirmed orders carousel let's get over to it here for the sp the first spotlight tonight we will be focusing on Final order report for new printings. First, once we get into Comic Hub, you'll see the banners here. One for aside items. That's everything in store for you currently that you can pay for and pick up. Uh, behind the green banner is our shop coming soon carousels. At the top there, the carousel on the top is... Uh, your recent searches from the most recent catalogs. Below that, we have preview pages for some of the upcoming new comics, some of which we may be looking at today. Below that is the Last Call Carousel. That's our main resource. And below that, we have next Wednesday's items. This is everything that is due on the st in the store on the 25th. On the 24th, pardon me. July 24th, this Wednesday. And below that are all the carousels for the events happening this summer. Lots of events going on at the big companies. Okay, so the first thing we're going to show you today is, uh, what, well, once we open the last call for confirmed orders, uh, we've got the filters up at the top for... Uh, alphanumerics, and then publisher category, etc. Uh, now this carousel rotates down to the bottom, and you can go directly to any alpha letter in the alphabet you want. It's pretty awesome. Okay, first thing that we're going to show you today is... Oh, yeah, the... Uh... Hello Darkness, number one. This is getting a second printing. Uh, this book has already, uh, hasn't even hit the shelf yet. 
We are expecting it in store this Wednesday, coming up on the 24th. But it's already getting a second print. That's pretty cool. Uh, Hello Darkness number one features a whole bunch of different creators doing short stories in the horror vein. We've got Garth Garth Ennis. We've got Becky Cloonan. We've got all kinds of awesome talent. Check it out this week on Wednesday when it's released in the first print, or you can get your second print right here. Uh, that second print also comes with a blank sketch variant. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Let's see. After that, we've got a new printing for, or I should say a facsimile printing for the DC House of Secrets number 92. Written by Len Wein. Joe Orlando and Virgil North with art by Bernie Wrightson, Bill Drott, Dick Dillon, Alan Lee Weiss, and Tony DeZuniga reprinting that classic first appearance of Swamp Thing. Hmm. All right, I could do that and that and that. Look, I'm back. Uh, this also is available in a foil variant for $5.99. There is also a brand new variant theme happening, uh, coming out in August, I believe. Yes, August 14th. Uh, they are doing Beetlejuice themed variants. The first of which are on this week's FOC. And that is, uh, Kelly with art by Kelly Jones. Replacing the uh, the classic image. It's pretty sweet to see Kelly Jones doing a tribute to the master in this tribute cover. That's sweet. We get a new printing of Department of Truth number 23. This just hit the shelves this last Wednesday. I think we still got copies, but if you want this... Uh, this new printing with a recolored cover. Get your order in by this Monday. Yeah, distracted. Next up, we've got a uh, second printing for the Amazing Spider-Man Annual. This is part two of the Infinity Watch storyline feeding through the Marvel Annuals this summer. Also get a second printing of Blood Hunt, number four. This is the regular format blood hunt, not polybagged. You get a second printing of Kid Venom number one. Did we get that? No, we haven't gotten that yet. That's going to hit the shelves this Wednesday, I believe. Yeah. With art by uh, art and writing by Taigami with this John Tyler Christopher negative space variant. And Spider Man Rain Volume 2. Number one gets a second printing with this new cover. I think this was maybe an interior page. Looks pretty amazing by Carrie Andrews. And then we get a new, new printing of Ahsoka number one from the Star Wars universe. Written by Rodney Barnes with art by Steve Cummins, Stephen Cummings. And this new printing cover, I think, which is recolored from the art of Ken Lashley. A black and white variant for Star Wars Inquisitors, number one, second printing with the art of Nick Bradshaw. And Ultimates, number two, second printing with, uh, I think this is just a black bordered version of the original cover. Uh, recolored cover for Wolverine Deep Cut number one, the new series by Chris Claremont and Edgar Salazar. And that wraps up our spotlight on new printings. Uh, next up, we've got a surprise. It's our spotlight on second issues. And that is Gotcha Man. Galactor number two. This is published by Mad Cave Studios, written by Steve Orlando, with art by Kath Lobo, who also did this second issue cover. 
Luchaverse Catalyst number two. Uh, that first issue just debuted this this week. Yes, uh, and spotlit or gave uh, two different stories. One featured uh, Rey Mysterio. So this new issue will feature two different stories, I believe, uh, written by Marco Lopez with art by Javier Caba. That will be available on August 21st. Yes. Final fight number two from Udon with a... Interiors in this cover by Matthew Weldon, written by Matt Moylan. Then Blood Brothers Mother, number two. Yeah, do that and that. Blood Brothers Mother, number two, from writer Brian Azzarello, with art by Eduardo Rizzo. This side, uh, 100 Bullets team is reunited for this Brutal, brutal Western. So good. The first issue came out a few months ago. Uh, can't wait for this number two to hit the shelves on September 4th. Uh, oh, this is also from Distillery. White Boat number two. From Scott Snyder and Francesco Francavia. Paranoid Gardens, number two, is on FOC this weekend. From the Umbrella Academy writer Gerard Way and Sean Simon. Uh, with art by Chris Weston, who did the A cover. But I wanted to show off this fantastic Glenn Fabry cover. Lots of weirdos on the cover. Ghosts and stuff. I love painted covers from Glenn Fabry. Then we get Gotham City Sirens number two from Leah Williams and Daniel Hilliard. That's cool. Uh, also with this cover by Terry Dodson. Hmm up with my browser see if I could fix this real quick it's a little bit better oh see now that's a lot better Gotham City Sirens number two hits on August 14th. Then we've got Gotham. Oh, that uh, also features a Beetlejuice variant cover. This one by Dan Hip and is pretty outstanding. Love the textures that this guy gets into his work. Lots of fun from Dan Hip. Uh, this is a cardstock variant, so it runs $4.99. We get a second issue of Hunger and the Dusk, Volume 2, from G. Willow Wilson and Chris Wild Goose. The Rocketeer Breaks Free, from Stephen Mooney and Staz Johnson with this Doug Wheatley cover. Very nice cover. And Domain Number 2 from Chip Zdarsky and Rachel Stott. So this is pretty meta. This is all tied in with Public Domain, another book that Chip Zdarsky writes and recently came back for a second story arc. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, that's it. Daredevil, Woman Without Fear, number two. I think that is about to debut this Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Daredevil Woman Without Fear drops on August 21st, written by Erica Schultz, with art by Michael Dowling and a David Yarden cover. Namor number two, with this cover by Alexander Lozano, 
written by Jason Aaron. Uh, that just debuted this last week. Namor got roughed up pretty bad. Phoenix number two, that just debuted this last week as well. Number two drops on August 31st with this very swell cover by Stephanie Phillips. Mm, that one. Yeah, good stuff. Featuring the Star Jammers. And that'll do it for our spotlight on second issues. Next, we will look at spotlight on first issues. And our first issue in this section is Johnny Quest number one. The new series from Dynamite Entertainment is written by Joe Casey with art by Sebastian Perez. And this very cool cover by Chad Harden. Of course, this is a classic take on Johnny Quest by classic writer Joe Casey, who's done a lot of animated writing himself. I'm looking forward to this. It'll be swell. It's got a bunch of variant covers. We got this Jay Lee cover. Uh, who's that? Tom Rainey? Cool. Bob Layton. Very nice. Classic Iron Man artist, Bob Layton. Richard Pace. And a blank Authentics cover from Johnny Quest number one. Next up, we get a new one-shot from Oni Press, Rick and Morty Finals Week Contested Convention, written by James Asmus with art by Susie Blake, who did this A cover, and a B cover from Sand Grin Sam Grinberg. That's pretty cool. Next up, we have Barbaric versus Death Stalker number one. This is an over-length one-shot featuring two of the most iconic sword and sorcery heroes locked, locked in epic battle. Cursed Barbarian versus Warrior King. Axe versus Sword. Owen versus Death Stalker. When an evil wizard summons the two most reluctant heroes of all times, they'll have to square off, but a clash of steel alone may not decide the victor, the final victor. Barbaric versus Deathstalker number one. From Slash, that's right. Michael Morrissey, Tim Seeley, Nathan Good Gooden, and presented by Slash, the guitarist of Guns and Roses, available on August 21st. Over at Boom Studios, we get the debut of a new one-shot, Berserker, the Lost Book of B. That's right, the Lost Book of B. <laughs> In the 13th century, the Berserker serves as the ultimate weapon of the legendary Genghis Khan, and it seems... But I can't read when I do that. And it seems that uh, and it seems that no enemy of the great warlord can stand against such an onslaught of havoc and death, but the war grows larger than B could have ever imagined. That's right. Discover an epic new chapter in the immortal saga. Revealing new untold secrets behind the wider Berserker universe. Written by New York Times bestselling author Matt Kent. With legendary artist Ron Garney reuniting the original team for the first time since the record-breaking original series concluded. Uh, Co-written, of course, by Keanu Reeves. Co-created by all of those folks. This one shot will be available on August 28th with this Ron Garney cover on A. A B cover by Mattia Daluis. 
and chrome foil versions of both A and B. Also from Boom Studios, in the wake of the event that shook the Power Rangers universe to its very foundations, the stage is set for a brand new adventure when a diehard Rangers fangirl named Lola somehow finds herself mixed. Mixed up in a wacky mess spanning multiple universes. From DC superstar Sam Humphreys and acclaimed art team Brant and Stein, they create a truly unique and outrageous Power Rangers tale that brings a more phenomenal spin to multiverse stories such as Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. That's easy for you to say. This is Power Ranger Infinities with this cover by Paulina Gonashow. This cover by interior artist Brant and Stein. A foil helmet variant by Goni Montez. Also from Boom Studios, we get Sir Number One from Fellhound. Uh, do that. Yeah. Get ready for your new obsession. Motorcycle jousting. Fate br brutally separated Avery Sakai and her girlfriend, Nico Jing. But acceptance at Brindleham, Bridleham Academy might be just the thing to bring them back together. From Boombox, the younger young adult imprint over at Boom Studios comes Sir Number One with this uh, A cover from Fellhound and a B cover by Alessio Zano, which is pretty cool. I like that one. Hmm, let's go over to this for that. This for that. There we are. Life Number One. Uh, gets uh, relisted on FOC this week, and I'm pointing it out because there's been a little distribution shuffle for Distillery, and they have gone exclusive with Diamond Comics Distribution, which means that all my orders from the other distributor got canceled. So they are resoliciting this week. And that gives you one more chance to check out this very unique looking 56 page series debut from writers Brian Azzarello and Stephanie Phillips writing together for the first time along with artist Danigel Zazelj, who has worked with Brian Azzarello a little bit in the past, I believe, to create a masterfully crafted flip book housing two enthralling narratives that collide in unexpected ways. Very cool looking covers. They got this A cover from interior artist Danigel Zizel, Zizelj and this cover by Jock. Oh, and we got a Riley Rossimo cover as well. There it is. Right on, life number one from Distillery Comics. Then we get Duck and Cover from Dark Horse Comics. This new three issue series from writer Scott Snyder and artist Raphael Albuquerque drops on September 4th and is a manga-influenced teen adventure set in the strange post-apocalyptic America of 1955. From the team behind the seminal Vertigo series, American Vampire, a post-apocalyptic adventure series with a historical twist. It comes with this A cover from interior artist Raphael Albuquerque, uh, who also did this B cover, and a foil version of the A cover. And then we then we get the late edition of this FOC variant by Jacob Phillips. DC schedules this brand new series from the Elseworlds imprint and a sequel to the smash hit DC vs. Vampires. It's 
It's the dead of winter, and any hope for a fragile truce between the Green Arrow-led human vamp he, human heroes and the vampire queen Barbara Gordon's army has been dashed by Damian Wayne and his guerrilla fighters. He's the only one fighting back against the bloodthirsty hordes, leaving Green Arrow with a choice. Does he stand and fight or sacrifice the boy in the name of peace? Yeah, from writer Matthew Rosenberg and artist Otto Schmidt, who did this A cover and deserves some brutal music. Yeah, more brutal -er. Also has this B cover from Steve Beach. Wow, that's pretty cool. Very nice J. Lee cover. Brutal. Wow. This uh, foil variant by Omare. Oh, and then we get a one shot called Nightwing Uncovered. This will be featuring uh, none other than Dick Grayson, who is front and center in a stunning collection of some of the most compelling cover art to grace his solo title over the years. This is a 40 page book collecting covers from the Nightwing series, which will probably be primarily Bruno Redondo covers, but I'm sure there'll be some variants thrown in there as well. Uh, and this is also the lenticular variant, so it precedes the final order of the regular covers because of production time. So this is the only variant on the schedule this week for Nightwing Uncovered, set to, set to drop on September 11th. Also from DC, we get this Zero Hour 30th Anniversary Special. Uh, this is also a uh, extra lead time item because it will have a prismatic gloss variant with art by John Bogdanoff. Wow, interesting. Huh. There it is, zero hour, 30th anniversary. I'll tell you more about that in a couple weeks when the rest of the covers FOC. And we got giant, giant size Thor number one. This uh, also is guest starring Hercules with a cover by Brian Hitch and will feature a classic reprint of Thor number 365, a Thor and Hercules tale told by the only real authority on such things, Hercules himself. I trust him. Uh, that also has a David Barden cover uh, in the Deadly Foes seri series that he's been doing the art for. And a Walt Simonson cover. Look at that. He's still got it, that Walt Simonson. What a gem. Hi, Evolutionary. Miles Morales' Spider-Man gets an annual... Uh, this seems to be completely unrelated to the uh, the annual crossovers. So this was probably more related to the regular Miles Morales Spider-Man series. This is written by the same creative team, uh, Cody Ziegler, with art by David Baldion, and this cover by Federico Vincentini, and this one by Dyke Ruan. Oh, that's pretty nice. Cool texture. Predator versus Black Panther. This debut issue is written by Ben Percy and is a sequel to last year's very successful Predator versus Wolverine uh, by the same writer, uh, featuring interior art by Chris Allen and a cover, this cover by Ken Lashley. Wakanda is prey. You saw the Marvel Universe's most ten tenacious mutant go up against one of the greatest killing machines in the history. <laughs> and Predator vs. Wolverine. Now the planet Earth lives on in Predator lore. A planet full of the most exhilarating prey they can imagine. They're going to go through them one by one. 
That's awesome. Also featuring this black ske uh, blank sketch cover, uh, Edwin Gelman cover. That's pretty nice. Uh, another Ken Lashley cover. Yeah. And this Lionel Francis U cover. Ooh, and a Philip Tan cover. All for Predator versus Black Panther. And what series would be complete at Marvel Comics without a Scotty Young variant for number one? Mm hmm. Then we got Venom War Carnage number one. Uh, spinning out of the Venom War event, written by Torin Gronbeck, with art by Perry Perez, and this Ken Lashley cover. Oh, and then this cool Jan Bazaldoa cover. And a Salvador La Roca cover. You can't win a war without Carnage. No way. Dylan and Meridius rally their troops. Carnage has plans of his own. Could they involve the new deadly to symbiote's weapon he discovered in Carnage? The, the regular series, number eight. And whose side will he ultimately be on? We'll find out in Venom Carnage War, number one. And then we get this uh, secondary spinoff called Venomous. Yeah, the venomous Black Widow and her newly trained symbiote are jumping into the Venom War and picking a side. Fresh off their new understanding from the Black Widow venomous one-shot, Widow starts looking into horrific experiments. Alchemax has been running... Uh, horrific experiments that Alchemax has been running based on their symbiote program. But she isn't the only one. Natasha's old teammate from her Secret Avengers day, now known as Agent Anti-Venom, is also on the case. From writer Erica Schultz and artist Luciano Vecchio, uh, who features this Lyrics Lee cover. And that's a well-designed costume. That's cool. It's good to see Agent Venom, Agent Anti-Venom again, whatever they call him. It's also got variants by Derek Chu. That's pretty cool. A little out of focus and weird. Uh, Luciano, Luciano Vecchio doing this variant. Oh, and then we'll move right over onto our main feature for the evening. This is the first issue of a new series from the ashes, a new beginning, the exceptional X-Men. Let's go over here, talk about this. Kate Pride leads a team of all new X-Men. After the fall of Krakoa, Kate Pride is l trying to get as far away from all things X as she possibly can. She's just a regular, regular bartender now. Definitely not getting ready to head up an all-new team of wayward young mutants while avoiding the watchful gaze of Emma Frost. Nothing in this title but work, dating, and staving off depression. That's it. No one ever, no one, no, never before seen exceptional X-Men to see here. That's right. This new series is written by Eve L. Ewing. With interior art by Carmen Carniero, who does this A cover. This looks pretty swell. I'm I'm going to read any book with Katie Pride in it. Or Kitty Pride or Kate Pride. Whatever she wants me to call her. It also features cool cover variants by David Baldion. Featuring this brand new character, Bronze. Uh, this Elizabeth Torque cover. Uh, the first in a series of Godzilla variants. By the way, uh, I guess now's a good time to ask. Should I do features? Do you think it would be a good idea if I do features on the different variant themes that they have going on month to month? I could focus on them, give you guys a little bit more information. Let me know in the comments. See if it'd be of interest to you. 
also has this logo variant. But yeah, let me get back to all these different variants here. So we got that David Baldion, Elizabeth Torque, Lionel Francis U Godzilla cover. What? A uh, logo variant. A uh, Rose Bash cover. That's pretty cool. Nice. And this exceptional X-Men variant by Scott Koblish. This wraparound connecting variant features a zillion, bajillion different X-Men on it and all connects up with the other Scott Koblish wraparound covers. We also get this Edge variant, uh, a Jiwa a Jiwa Edge, a Jiwa Edge, a Benaby did the art on this awesome variant that also gets the foil treatment. Uh, pricing on this will probably be 10 bucks. Yes. If you're interested, make sure to get your orders in by this Monday at noon. Mm, what else? Do I have any other ones? Oh, yeah, we got this uh, exceptional X-Men number one poster. Let's give you the information on that. This poster, of course, measures 24 by 36. Uh, rolled price is $8.99 and features the art of exceptional X-Men number one, artist Carmen Carniero. And that's what I expected. That's is the capper of our spotlight on first issues. Let's see. Mm -mm. Final order for first issues was our, was our last spot spotlight on final order report. Remember that final order report, uh, that final order deadline is this Monday, July 22nd at noon. Thanks for joining me for the final order report. Stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are Green Brain Comics at Green Brain Comics on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. All of the links to our shopping cart, website, and comic hub are below in the description. That's right, comic hub. Don't forget that. Comichub.com. Place all your orders through that. That FOC carousel comes down Monday at noon. We are spreading the love of comic books and graphic novels from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn since 1985. Oh, wait. I'm getting way ahead of myself. I was supposed to show you some events. That's it. Sorry, folks. Uh-oh, where'd my event thingy go? Wow, my event... All right, well, I guess I'll show it to you later. Can I do it there? Yeah, I should. Okay. Sorry, I changed the studio around today. So make sure to check us out uh, back here on YouTube and Facebook on Tuesday night at 6.30 for our weekly live stream preview of New Comic Book Day on BrainScan. Join us live as we give you a tour, a walking tour of Green Brain Comics on the eve of New Comic Book Day. That's 6.30 every Tuesday. Some of those big new releases this Wednesday are Flash Gordon number one, Nyx NYX number one, and the new EC series from Oni Press, Epitaph from the Abyss. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'd also like to thank... Yeah, I'll get to them. Oh, yeah. 
We got our next brain candy scheduled for Monday, August 19th at 7 p.m. That's Brain Candy 59, brought to you by the Performers, Emerging Writers Network, and Green Brain Comics. This is a free review of music, prose, poetry, and visual art. This month featuring musician Kareem Kanoff, poetry from Jason Storms, prose from Carlos Parisi, and the visual art of Scheherazade Washington Parish. That all happens on Monday, August 19th, 7 p.m. That's right, the third Monday of the month. Brain Candy 59 brought to you by the performers, the Emerging Writers Network, and Green Brain Comics. And of course, I'd like to thank you for joining us here this week on Final Order Report. Stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are Green Brain Comics on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. All the links to our shopping cart, website, and comic hub are below in the description. We are spreading the love of comics and graphic novels from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn since 1985. Also, I'd like to thank Burnt Rubber Omelette for their music and their upcoming big time single from their upcoming big time album burnt rubber omelet cargo shorts of doom <laughs> yeah make sure to join us back here next weekend for more final order report thanks for watching Fode. oh yeah don't forget feed your brain at Green Brain Comics. Emanating from deep under the earth, spreading across the globe at the speed of thought, changing the world one brain at a time. This is the Final Order Report from Green Brain Comics.